I offered him a sip of my drink and he made intense eye contact with me as he slowly put the straw in his mouth and took a nice long sip. I found it kinda weird to be turned on so much by him sucking on a straw since I don't have a dick. <laughs> with <laughs> wow. <laughs> you got turned on by <laughs> Oh my goodness. Been dating for over two years now. Yo, what's good guys? Kelvin here. Today we're gonna be looking at what did your friends do that accidentally turned you on? Oh man, it sounds very, very interesting. I don't know, man. If you ever experienced this kind of experience, leave it in the comment section below. And yeah, don't forget to give this video an early thumbs up. Really appreciate the support. And let's get right back in with the song. This one girl started tickling me. When I started tickling her back, she started to moan and said she was sensitive there. <laughs> Awkward drive home. <laughs> oh, I know yes. that feeling. Except that in my case, my friend and I were watching a movie down in his parents' basement back in high school. It was a little chilly and we were kinda playfully fighting over the throw blanket. It turned into a bit of a tickle fight, but I was winning because I am not ticklish except for a few extremely sensitive places, whereas he was ticklish everywhere. He told me it wasn't fair that he couldn't tickle me since my only ticklish spots are the sides of my breasts and back of knees. <laughs> I dared him to try it, thinking he never would as he was a good Christian boy. Uh oh, uh oh. He absolutely went for it and tickled me unmercifully for about a minute until it morphed into complete and total desire. He could absolutely tell the second it changed and we ended up making out. Oh, wow. I absolutely would have fricked him then and there, but we never went any farther. We never had a repeat of the makeout session, but there was always a huge amount of exultation between us after that and it really kind of ruined the friendship. Ruined the friendship? As what did it like ruin the friendship? I thought you guys had a really good chemistry going on, you know? As a guy I decided to fall asleep on a close friend's lap who then proceeded to stroke my hair and lightly pulling it. It was really hard to fall asleep cause I was more worried that I'd get a boner from that. <laughs> from a woman's perspective. There is a very real chance your friend was trying to give you that boner you worried about. Edit SP. Wow. I had this friend that while having long phone call sessions, she used to talk to me in this seductive sounding Colombian accent and called me Bizcocho, which is cake in Spanish. Buz Never. Bizcocho. No, that's a, that's a very romantic word if you want to use it to call your girlfriend your boyfriend would you guys use it thought being called a dessert would be hot or hot. maybe i'm just weird that's a well-known flirty way for spanish speakers to call someone it's been disappearing because it's kind of old school and goofy lol what do you guys think you did was it was it called buscato do you think it's a hot word to call someone Leave it in the comment section below. I think it's pretty hot. I was cracking jokes with a co-worker and when she laughed at something I said she pushed at my chest and that oh stop it you. Kind of way into oh boy I damn near melted right then and there. A group of us went to a firework display and during the usual louder and bigger finale fireworks she jumped, grabbed my arm tight and didn't let go. Not sure what happened inside me but yeah, that did it. That's it? Wow. That's some anatomy. Wow, <laughs> that is some anime stuff right there. Like, you must be thinking about her too often. MAS right there. Now we just need the part where she confessed, but the fireworks were too loud and you couldn't hear it. He and I were watching a movie when he gave me a hug. While hugging me, he gently ran his hands up and down my back. He didn't mean anything exal with it. I, on the other hand, have a very sensitive back and was severely turned on by it. Ooh. The next day, he made fun of me for being ticklish. I then admitted to the truth about that. Needless to say, he did it again later. We've been dating for over a year now, see? Getting close to two. That's really awesome. cute girl I had a crush on sat in my lap on the school bus headed home because there weren't enough seats. This is allowed? Like a girl sitting on your laps going back to school? When I was in school, that was never allowed, okay? This same girl also told me I don't ever ask guys out because that's their job. Holy yes, I was so stupid. Edit, thanks for the award. 
one of my first few ever. He still does this. He takes my shopping bags and puts his hand on my back as we cross streets. I'm short and I have a limp and he's so kind and caring about it. Aww. Edit. My phone has been blowing up today. Wow. Quick frequently asked questions. I asked him out three times now, about two years apart each time. I was very politely rejected. We are great friends, and I'm happy with that. He's a joy to have in my life. The limp is from a very serious injury I had a few years back. I'm not actually a grandma. But I do love tea and crochet so make of that what you will. I'm not abnormally short, I'm just regular can't reach the top shelf and my feet don't touch the floor from chair short. He's worried jackasses and giant pickups won't see me. He's not wrong, I've had a lot of near misses. Thanks for the kind words. I'm just like impressed that they are still friends for two years. Usually when a girl be a guy rejects a girl, they usually just go their separate ways, okay? They'll never be friends because it may kind of like a very awkward situation, you know, in a way. Because you, you ask a guy out and then the guy rejects you. You probably don't want to talk to the guy anymore, but this story is totally different. I'm at work, so more replies later. But I'm glad my wonderful friend's kindness made others smile too. He's cool like that. Plot twist. <laughs> Diet Potato is actually a sweet old granny. She dried my motorcycle seat with her sleeve while I was putting my helmet on. A colleague friend took care of my wounded knee during work. Oh. We were alone in the canteen and he was very sweet and caring. Guess I'm not used to that. Edit. Spelling. Agayumi. I cut my hand at a previous job pretty good, and my co-worker came and he bandaged my hand up and I was like damn boy. Just being cared for like that is such a turn on. It is. I think like, this is kind of like a more of an anime story. You know, when you got injured and you cross kind of bend day, your injured spot. I mean, that is like living the dreams. Like imagine your favorite cross like taking care of you. Uh. A friend of mine I had a crush on sucked on my fingers, as a joke kinda. Then someone told her they do it in prod all the time and she never did it again lol. <laughs> Held my hand for a few seconds. Just happened a few days ago, she was driving and we held hands for a while. I'm still evaluating why that had such an impact on me. I have never been ladylike. So I was play fighting with a friend and he pined me down and chocked me a little. Oh. I still think about it sometimes. Yo, yeah, I was never really the ladylike type either. I mean, I'm a dude, but still. Ruffled my hair. It wasn't that big a deal, but she was one of my close friends in that just. Ro. Benjamin, I thought you were gay. <laughs> He was driving and I was riding shotgun. He had to reverse to parallel park and turned his torso towards me, putting his arm around my seat in order to look back. He did that so confidently and effortlessly that it made me feel a little funny. You mean my good parking skills could actually be useful? Really? I mean, to be honest, I am pretty good at parking too, but nowadays, I never like kind of put my hand on the, on the seat and look back. It's because you got like a backup camera on all the cars essentially right now. So, so it's very hard to find a car without a backup camera. Do you guys have a backup, backup camera in your car? I remember a girl classmate friend liking the smell of my deodorant and just grabbing onto my arm and then proceed to walk beside me. What kind of deodorant? Yeah, I need to know. I need to know. I came back from freshman year college to visit high school and walked into the auditorium, where an incredibly cute girl I was friends with saw me, stopped what she was doing and literally ran up the aisle and jumped into my arms to hug me. Plot twist, married 26 years and have a son. Wow. Multiple things. First in a party he danced with me and lifted me in the air. I'm not thin and not many people tried this with me. Then on a trip we made with friends, 
his cousin made a tent using sheets and a bunk bed. We went inside to read manga on his phone. He put his arms around me so we both could see the screen. Before anyone asks, he wasn't into me back then, but now we've been together for nearly four years. We were neighbors, she just kicked out her ex-BF, and we lost power due to an ice storm. Uh oh, let's see. The power was restored later, but her heat wasn't working right. She called it in, but the maintenance people were busy with calls to fix heat in other units too. We were hanging out at my place watching movies and basking in my heat, though it was still chilly. So we were sharing a blanket on the couch, snuggled up together, and drinking whiskey. Wow. She passed out on the couch, so I put on an extra blanket on her and went to my room. About one hour later, she walks into my room and just falls into bed next to me, gets under he covers and snuggles up to me and says I'm cold and passes out. I dunno, maybe I felt wanted and that she came to me for comfort. We didn't hook up or anything. The next morning she woke up, and she made me breakfast, and went back to her apartment to get her heat fixed at it. WTF happened between me posting this and now? Wait... I'm like really really confused, so is the girl interested in the guy? I mean she was getting really really comfortable like sleeping with him on the same bed. But the guy I think is a really kind of nice guy. They even approach in a in a very sexual way. He just approach her and let her sleep and respect her privacy, which is really great. Hard to find these these days, but that is a very good story. I respect the guy, you know. Uh, thanks, I guess. Basking in my heat, it took me a while to realize you weren't just emanating heat like a human radiator. There are no accidents, Master Uguay. <laughs> she was my female best friend at the time. We went out to watch A Star Is Born. She rested her head on my right shoulder. I was on cloud nine. I miss her. Oh, when yeah, he that is like the best feeling ever, I guess. Like a girl, a girl that you like resting her head on your shoulder, man. Man, I will be a cloud line too. Flip between languages whilst talking on the phone with his mother and then asking me to pass him his wallet. I knew people could switch it on and off like that, but I've never seen the flow quite as effortlessly. Have had several female friends bite me in a playful manner. Bite you. Turned me on every single time. I and she probably knew. I told her a joke and she smiled so much. Looked at the ground then gave me a you're so funny look. I honestly wanted to date her since then. It's been three years and I'm still thinking of her. Oh, that is just... Torture. Torture right here. Why did you not ask her out and see what's... What's gonna happen? Like, three years and you still think of her like that's... Literally, really, really crazy. He jumped up, grabbed the fire escape ladder, pulled himself up and climbed all the way to the top. Just oh dear. That's how I learned I have a thing for people climbing pulling themselves up. I offered him a sip of my drink and he made intense eye contact with me as he slowly put the straw in his mouth and took a nice long sip. I found it kinda weird to be turned on so much by him sucking on a straw since I don't have a dick. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you got turned on by me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Been dating for over two years now. Oh, I, I wonder what the boyfriend think about this. Like, he just suck <laughs> on a straw and then he, he got turned on. Wow, that is <laughs> She was the popular girl in our class. She said I love you to me as a friend. I think anyway or I'm just incredibly freaking dense. <clears throat> I didn't like her but it still made my heart flutter. Nothing hotter than having your friends confirm that they actually do respect you as a person ss good man. We were in a theater with a group of friends. And while watching the movie, she would put her head on my shoulder and talk to me about how PPL come to theaters to kiss lol. <laughs> I got the butterflies in my stomach but never acted on it, 
What? No. It was later yeah. on when I realized how dumb I was for missing my chance. Yes. Oh my god. Like, that was the hint. That girl was giving you hints after hints. Like, people come theater to kiss. That's like, oh man, straight telling you, hey, you should kiss me. Right there. You know, how, what would you do? What would you do? Like, if, if you were in theater and someone say, oh, people usually come to theater to give a kiss. Like, I would have just went for it, you know, I would, you know, I'll be respectful, like, after the theater, I'll be like, um, can I kiss you or something? Like, let's just ask her about it, you know, don't be awkward and stuff, and yeah, like, you never know, like, if she give you a hint, probably just go for it, that's my opinion, I don't know what you guys think, but leave in the comment section below, what would you do, like, if a girl asks you, oh, people come to theater to kiss, like, um, if it's a real close friend, right, said that in a jokingly way, so it, it must be like, I feel like it must be a hint. Well, yeah, that's about the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification. And my name is Calvin, and I'll see you guys next video.